takes a couple seconds, but we're in no hurry. We're just gonna have some fun. Ginger down there. And I was just thinking if I should slide down that pipe, but I don't really think there's any much of importance there. If we fall down there and get the last honeycomb piece. And then I'd, I finally decided to swim in this long pipe. Which leads to a jiggy, but the challenge is can you get down there in time without running out of breath? And if you're at all good at the swimming controls, you should have no problem getting this jiggy. I'm pretty sure I came back, I made it back with two or three air bubbles, which is plenty. It's definitely not as hard as when you have to go down and unlock Clanker, and you have to get the air in between picking up the notes, picking up the Jinjo, and swimming through the keyhole to unlock the fish. That's a lot more tedious. It's, besides that entry pipe that leads into the big area, there's three other pipes. One of them leads to a Jinjo, which just loops back around to another pipe. One of them leads to the, the Jiggy that we just got, and that, that is beyond a pipe. Or that leads to like a cage, so you can see the Jiggy from the other side of the pipe. And then one leads to this area here. We just fight some baddies. I didn't really do a great job of hitting them. But ground pounding is the way to go. I just got some notes while I did that. I had some trouble picking up the Jiggy because I didn't go to the right place to jump. The game just picky about where you can jump. You can't really see how high it is from this camera angle. So I try to jump there, then I try to jump onto the pipe. You can't even get up there. So I just tried to go around to where it slopes up higher. Then you gotta jump up there, because the game just has to be that picky. But where you get the Jinjo, I mean the Jiggy, not the Jinjo. Honestly, I have no idea where that commentary went. I mean, I just, I started recording. I, I started recording both of them at the same time, and then I went back to view my commentary file, and it was only like nine minutes long. So hopefully this isn't a problem again in the future. Like I said, I'm just watching the gameplay and commentating over it retrospect retroactively. I don't think that's as fun as commentating while playing it live, but... That's what we had to do, unless you wanted to just miss the entire part. All three of you watching this might be pretty disappointed if you just only saw half of Clanker's Cavern. Right here I don't I don't navigate that carefully. I don't really think there's any need to if you have like if you know how to use a flap jump and you have a steady finger. I see some let's plays where the people are just like tiptoeing and I'm like you don't need to go that slow. And there's, there's going to be another part like that in Bulbu Swamp where you have to navigate some stuff. Supposedly slow, but I just kind of jump and flap over it. So now in this part, it's finally time to go inside Clanker and get all the Jiggies inside him. Those eyes are just raised up in the in one of the world areas of Grunty's Lair. You just got to ground pound those, and they give you a Jiggy. If you haven't noticed, each world has a Grunty switch. And it, it does something. One part of the video that you didn't see was me picking up the Jiggy that got blown out of the cannon in the in the Treasure Trove Cove area because I, I stopped recording before I got that, so you didn't miss too much there. And then leaving that area brings you to the flight pad we can use to get up here. <coughs> ah, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry about that. And we learn invincibility, which I think it's nice to have a legal invincibility move that's not a cheat. But they do limit it with the gold feathers. 
which aren't as common in this game. In Banjo Tooie, you can get them pretty easily because they have the red feather slash gold feather collector things, which you can get two gold feathers, not just one. So it's easy to get gold feathers here, but in this game, they're a bit tougher to find. And normally, you only get like one or two at a time, but you don't really use them as often. There are a couple times in the last world where you have to use them to pick up some music notes that, you can, that are protected by this one guy that you can't get because they're invincible, so... It's a useful move to have. I mean, I used it for a bit too long there, probably wasted a feather that I didn't need to waste. And then it's time for the rings, which are much more fun than the rings of Super Mario 64. If you've, been, if you've been watching Proton John's Let's Play Super Mario 64, that's where I got that from. Well, flying through this, all those rings actually looks kind of fun, I, I will admit it. But maybe it gets... I mean, he only has one part up so far, so maybe it's... Maybe it gets the game gets worse as you go on. But, it seems like he's have been having some life... Well, not life problems, but just not in a position to upload. I mean, he thought he could upload, but he couldn't, so... We're just waiting patiently on that. If you guys are freaking out because he isn't getting the video up, just calm down. Some people on the internet have real lives. I mean, you may not think I have one in right now because I've put up like 30 videos in the last two or three days. But it's the summertime for me. I'm go I don't have a, a full-time job, I have a part-time job. I have plenty of free time to record videos. Once I go to college, that will not be the case. I don't know if I'll have a TV there yet. And of course, I'll just have to be there when my roommates aren't. So, to you five subscribers, you might, you might have to wait a bit. Well, first of all, I don't, need, I don't know if I'll be buying one or if one of my roommates will have one, if I'll be allowed to use it. And the TV will have to have video out. I have to buy a bunch more stuff to, to reroute the signal without the video out cable or output on the TV. Hopefully that shouldn't take too long. If my roommates are there are are in their room all the time, then there goes that. Well, I'm sure I could just use a headphone headset then, and hopefully they wouldn't mind. Yeah, going off to college in a month and a half. I'm kind of sad. I mean, I really like living in this small mine out in North Dakota. I love sleeping in my own bed, and just sitting around doing nothing at night. And I'm only I'm going to college, only about four to five hours away, so I'll try to be home often. I'll make sure I get some recording done when I get home, where I know I can record. That's the part where the camera is just starting to being dumb, and then I couldn't see that thing in time. I just go to pick out some last couple of music notes for the world. Yeah, so I'm going to college at North Dakota State University in Fargo, North Dakota. And uh, I'm blessed enough to have the smarts to earn nearly a full ride scholarship. I think I'm just paying a thousand dollars, and I have about five thousand dollars saved up from a job that I've had since freshman year, so I've been, I've been saving up since then, and I'm really glad I did. I mean, it, it's nice to have all that extra money. I'll try to get a job there too, work two or three job days. It's nice to have a steady income. But you don't care about my life, so let's get back to the game. Luckily there's only about a minute and a half left for me to commentate on. We just got done with Clanker's inside a clanker. So now we just go wrap up the, the beginning area, which has some notes and the final Jinjo. Like I said, the, the pipe leading back to the beginning of the world faces clanker. So we just go to his face and then swim down to find the pipe. I was kind of panicking here because I didn't know if I'd finish in time. Because the YouTube cap limit is like 10 minutes and 59 seconds, I think. I mean, it's supposed to be 10 minutes, but for some reason you can go up to 10 59. So if I got done within 22 minutes, or 21 minutes, 58 seconds, I'd be able to get them both up in two parts. 
without splitting through a third part. And I think I finished in 2156. So after I trim out the first couple seconds, that gives me a couple seconds to work for. Didn't like to cut it that close, but it ends up working out. So we have all the jiggies in the world now. And all there is to do now is grab the rest of the music notes. And if I would have got hit by one of those guys, it probably would have been the end. Well, not the end, but I probably wouldn't have made it in the time limit. And if you, you could have seen earlier that I was, having, I was having some issues attacking him, even though I was attacking him as he came out of the pipe, so I have no idea how I got hit. And there you have it, folks. There's all 100 notes, all 10 jiggies, you got both the honeycomb pieces. And thanks for watching. This is Nick Taylor, signing out.